beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So I am sure all of you are aware of the trend that like overtook YouTube, give or take a year ago. And I think the first person to start it was Grackle, who is actually one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, I love you, please notice me. And it was where everyone and their mother was eating the recommended serving sizes for a day and I decided well actually you guys decided because I took a poll on my Instagram so if you aren't following me on Instagram and you want to have a say in the videos that I post here uh, make sure to follow me over there because I like to take polls on my story a lot of the time but I asked you guys if you wanted to see me eating like my zodiac signs for a day or if you would rather see me eat two times the serving size for a day and eating two times the recommended serving size for a day barely one barely it's 47 versus 53 percent so I'm probably still gonna film the zodiac one but um it seems that you guys want to see this one first that's what i'm going to be doing for this video i'm eating double the recommended serving size for a day if you end up enjoying this video make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know but if you absolutely hate it which i would not blame you for you can give it a thumbs up because that is okay too and of course subscribe for more content but you're certified damsel in distress so let's make some breakfast <laughs> i'm contemplating right now if i should have pancakes or if I should have some cereal. This is like my favorite cereal of all time, by the way. I don't know if it's limited edition. It used to be limited edition. Um, it's really hard to find. I can hardly ever find it. Banana nut Cheerios. Oh my God. My absolute favorite cereal. But I'm contemplating, should I have cereal? Or should I have pancakes? Cereal or pancakes? Pancakes. We're gonna go with pancakes. Is it just me? But when I was younger, I always had cereal. I was always the type of person that had cereal as a midnight snack or dinner even. I hardly ever had cereal as breakfast. I feel like cereal is just, it tastes better at night. You know what I mean? It hits different. But I'm going to be using this pancake mix. It's the Birch Benders. I'm thinking I wanna make banana chocolate chip pancakes because that's my jam. One serving is 50 grams. Oh man, do I have to get out the scale? Get this dust off of here. So we're doing 100 grams because one serving is 50 grams. That's one serving? That's like so little. All right, 100 grams. Now, something I'm not gonna do is do two servings of cashew milk for this because then it'll just be a disaster. I'm just gonna go off of like how much cashew milk I'm just supposed to add. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna eyeball it. So we're just gonna, oh, I need to add cinnamon. Does cinnamon have a serving size? We're just gonna kind of eyeball this. I think it all just depends. Like, do you like thin pancakes or do you like thicker pancakes? I'm serving a tablespoon. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I'm getting PTSD. This is like, I'm getting war flashbacks when I was doing the single serving. A tablespoon? A tablespoon. This mixture is apparently going to be making four to six pancakes. And I get two tablespoons. I, 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 let's see how many two tablespoons turned out to be. This is a sad amount of chocolate chips. Look at that. Are you supposed to dump chocolate chips in or are you supposed to like sprinkle them on as you make the pancakes? I'm not sure. Ah, oh, this ratio is atrocious. Someone said in my last video, because I said um, a serving size for a banana, I think is just one banana. Um, am I wrong? Because someone said, no, it's half a banana. I will be so upset if a serving size for a banana is half a banana. Eight inches long. What? Serving size, eight inches long. Do I have to measure my banana? I guess, so I get 16 inches of a banana. That is so weird. Eight inches, that's so precise. While I cut up these bananas, I think these pants are preheated. I like to use like a little, uh, this is a quarter of a cup measuring cup. It says it was supposed to make, how many was it? Four to six? So you would think it'd make about five, but here I am. Maybe I just make my pancakes too thick. Would you guys be mad if I cheated just a little bit? This guy has no chocolate chips, none. Let me just, just a little bit. I'll put like that many. Okay, just a few, just a few. That looks good. Okay. So I'll let these cook, and while they're cooking, I will slice up my bananas. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the slices of banana inside the pancakes, and then any leftover that like didn't fit, I'm going to use as topping. All right, let's try to flip this one. I think this one's ready. Chopsticks always come in handy for cooking. Ooh, okay, I think that one might not be ready yet. Moving on to this pan. Not bad, not bad. These are so thick, but that's how I like them. Oh my God, you know what? I'm amazing. 
Does that not look beautiful? Hold on, let me not get the dirty pans in the shot. Do you not just want to dive headfirst into that? Ta-da! I'm not gonna do two servings of maple syrup. A serving of maple syrup is a fourth of a cup, and that is a lot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pour some in here. Like, I'm not going to be doing two servings of condiments. That means if I were to have like french fries later, for example, and I was having ketchup with it, I'm not gonna do two servings of ketchup. If that bothers you, I am sorry. You can let me know by disliking this video, and that is a-okay with me. I don't think I am physically capable of having two servings of maple syrup. I am not like a huge fan of maple syrup to be honest. I just like to dip a little bit with each bite of pancake or waffle or whatever I'm having and I'm good to go. Wow, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? I'm very happy with the end result. Mm. I am so amazing. Oh my god. The bananas like inside the pancake, game changer. Mm. This is probably my biggest accomplishment this year. Graduated college, psh, got my bachelor's. This is my greatest accomplishment. Hello my friends, I have returned. I am back for a snack. <laughs> Do you remember earlier how I was saying like, oh, if I'm not going to be measuring condiments, like two servings of condiments, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to double the serving size of condiments. For example, if I'm having fries, I'm not going to do the serving size for ketchup. I'm just going to have as much ketchup as I want. That got me thinking, I want some fries. So I'm going to be having some french fries for a snack. And it says 14 pieces is a serving, three ounces. So I'm going to do six ounces, which I still feel like is not that much but whatever. It's better than one serving. I remember in the other video that I did where I was just doing the recommended serving sizes and it was only one serving of fries. That was pathetic. That was so sad, so depressing, so embarrassing. Oh, I'm using these uh, Nathan's French fries. They're just frozen fries I got at Publix. Woo! See, that's like a good amount of fries in my opinion. I know I accidentally just poured the entire bag out, but that's a good amount of fries for me. And that is four servings. That is four. I have to eat half of this then. Oh my God, wait. Damn, that is two servings of fries. 14 pieces, my ass. That means there's like 28 pieces in here. There's 23 pieces in here. Well then you know what? 23 pieces, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I'm going with that serving because that way I get more fries. <laughs> is that cheating? I'm going to be baking my fries in my beloved air fryer. This is a godsend, and it's probably one of my greatest purchases of all time. Damn, that's not a lot of fries. <laughs> See, I thought if I was gonna be doing double the serving size, I'd be happier, but it's still kind of depressing. Salt, pepper, and Cajun seasoning. Cajun seasonings to your fries. It's a game changer. 22 minutes. 20, 20. 22, 24, 25, 25 minutes, 400 degrees. There's like a lot of random things. Like I noticed in my last video, I was so surprised with the serving size. Like for example, this bag, I love these snacks. These are just um, crunchy seaweed chips and in the barbecue flavor, and they're really tasty. And I always thought like a serving size would just be one bag because I don't really look at the serving size of things, but it's half of the bag. Half of the package is one serving. There's two servings per package. That is so, Lame. Which I means I guess I can just eat this bag, which would be eating two times the serving size of this. Mm. So this is good. See, this these are cool. This is the serving sizes, the two bars, because two bars come in a package. Two bars come in one of these. But I don't know if you guys remember in my serving size video, if you haven't watched that, you can go watch it if you want to. I was eating like these fig bars. They're like fig newtons or something. And two came in a package, but only one was a serving size. That's so lame. It's like if two plus two is four, and if five plus five is ten, then what the fuck is this, you know? So my fries are done. I was trying to put the ketchup in that little dish that I used for my maple syrup and it shattered and I cut my finger. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna try to measure out a serving or two servings, double the serving of ketchup. A serving of ketchup is 16 grams. Two servings, we're looking at 32. Maybe that'll be enough. I feel like that's not that much for like these fries. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love fries. I feel like sometimes when I'm with my friends that aren't vegan, 
they'll feel bad if we go to a restaurant or something that doesn't have a lot of vegan options and i'm like do they have fries they have fries i'm good to go as long as the place has fries i am set i've also been obsessed obsessed with criminal minds lately i started the show for matthew gray gubbler because he is my man. He is so beautiful. I'm in love with him. And he's my favorite character. But now I'm staying for all of them. Like, I love Hotch. I love Morgan. I love Garcia. Love JJ. Oh my god. Prentice is cool. I will admit that sometimes it worries me that I can casually just watch Criminal Minds while eating. Because that's when I like to watch Criminal Minds is when I'm eating. Maybe that says something about me. Would you guys judge me if I made my lunch and used the same bowl as my fries to eat out of it? I know it's um, it's not clean, but I used it literally like 10 minutes ago, so. And for lunch, okay, I'm kind of using this because I just want to get rid of these. Not get rid of these, but I want to eat them because they've kind of been in my cupboard for a few months. And I keep forgetting about them. I'm like, oh, I should eat those soon before they expire. And then I just... Don't. <laughs> I got these Annie's Organic Vegan Mac Cheddar Flavor, and they're basically vegan Easy Mac. And Easy Mac was my sh** when I was growing up. I had Easy Mac every single night before I went to bed. At like midnight, I would have it, along with a entire bottle of Coke and a family size bag of chips, but we're gonna ignore that part. One serving size is just one of these, so I'm gonna have both of them. Cheers. And I've never had this before. At least not to my memory. So this will also be like a first impression type of thing. Yeah, I don't think I've had Annie's instant mac and cheese yet. I haven't had a lot of vegan mac and cheeses because I prefer to make my own usually, but figured wouldn't hurt to give it a try. I don't want to let you down. It's the only thing I think about every morning. You know my life ain't figured out. Reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm kind of excited. There's my mac and cheese. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. My five-star Michelin gourmet meal. Looking like a chef, I'm a five-star Michelin. Mmm, ooh. It is good, mmm. Mmm, something about that processed cheese taste. Mmm. You see, when I was growing up, I loved Easy Mac and like Kraft Mac and Cheese, which is like super cheap mac and cheese, but there's something about the artificial cheese taste. It was like a guilty pleasure of mine. I feel like a kid again. Makes me feel young again. <laughs> mm. Hello, I've returned, and yes, I've officially changed my shirt. Stan, Stephanie Sue. Do you guys remember earlier how I was contemplating if I should have pancakes or cereal for breakfast, but then I was saying that cereal is kind of more of a, like a dinner or a nighttime snack? I decided to have cereal. For dinner. I, I have been looking at that box of cereal for this whole entire video and I just really want some cereal. <laughs> so I will be having my banana nut Cheerios. I opened it up because I was taking a thumbnail picture. And when I was taking the picture, I was like, damn, I really want some. So one serving of cereal is one cup. I'm having two cups, nice and easy. I actually want to use a cup measure and then I'm gonna weigh it out to see if a cup actually comes out to the grams that it says on the container. So I have a Measuring cup right here. This is one cup and it says one cup is 36 grams Oh, wow, look at that pretty exact it came out to 35 grams. Anyway, we're having two servings though So I'm going to be having what is that 72 72 grams Beautiful oh and it's Cheerios and I'm putting it in my heart bowl. I feel like that's super fitting I'm not measuring out the cashew load because we remember how that ended up last time I really am showing off my cooking skills in this video, but I've got my cereal. I'm so excited I haven't had banana nut Cheerios in so long mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is your guys' favorite cereal? Mine is by far Banana Nut Cheerios. I didn't get to have it often because like I said, limited edition. But aside from Banana Nut Cheerios, I really liked Life. Not actual Life, the cereal. <laughs> but um, tss. My parents also really liked Life, so it was good to have it in the house because we could all eat it. I also enjoyed Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. We weren't really allowed to have cereal in the house that much though because my mom didn't like when I ate really sugary cereals, but I always got to eat it when I went to my friend's house. Mm. You can just get up and walk away. Oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Who are gonna die? Did you find your underwear? It's time to go. 
Hi, ma'am. I have leftover milk. And something I usually like to do is I like to add more cereal until I like until I finish the milk, you know? But I won't do that for this video because we're sticking to just doubling the serving size, you know? <laughs> Okay, so for dessert, I'm using the same bowl because again, I'm really just trying to do as little dishes as possible. I'm having two vegan chocolate chip cookies. I get these cookies from Sprouts. Mm, my dad used to eat them. He said he couldn't even tell that they were vegan. They are dad approved. Anyway, mm, I think that is going to be the last thing I have for tonight which means that is going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know if you did. But if you absolutely hated it, which I wouldn't blame you for, then you can give it a thumbs down because that is okay too. Comment anything else you would like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly. If you haven't already heard today, you are amazing. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are so valid. And I am so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Just that he be good. On the ball like BB, don't make no mistakes. Got the faith. The 18 just not gonna be the same. Finna be down generations, not gonna be in vain. Too young. Why you gotta go? Why you gotta go?